Kipsters, and welcome to Miss Jones's Math Corner. So today's math question starts with Coriana is racing Kira and Taraya to see who can get the most math facts memorized for the school year. So far, Coriana has memorized 3,419 facts, Kira has memorized 899 facts, and Taraya has memorized twice as many facts as Kira. How many more facts has Coriana memorized than Taraya? So let's take this time to pause the video, reread the question, and answer in the comments below. Okay, now let's see if you got your answer right. So the first thing I did was write down how many facts each girl had memorized. So the problem told me Coriana had 3,419 math facts memorized, Kira had 899 math facts memorized, and Taraya had twice as many as Kira, which also means 899 times 2. And that will let me know how many math facts that Taraya had memorized. Okay, so in order to solve this, I, did, I started my area model. So I did 2 times 8, 899, and I spread it out at 800 plus 90 plus 9, which would give me 899. So I used my area model to solve each square. So I have 2 times 800. If that's a little confusing or a little bit hard for you, you can cover the zeros and two times eight is what? 16, super easy. And then you can bring down your zeros, which would give you 1,600. Same here, two times nine is 18. Then you bring down your zeros, so you have 180. And two times nine is 18. Then we add all of these together and that gives us 1,789 math facts. So now we know that Taraya has 1,789 math facts memorized. But now we still need to solve to see how much more, how many more math facts Coriana has memorized than Taraya. Cool. Okay, so we have Coriana's math facts memorized at 3,419, and then we have Taraya's math facts that she memorized. 1,798. So now we're going to subtract to see how many more math facts Coriana knows than um, Taraya. So can we take away 8 from 9? Yes, we can. And that leaves us with 1 left. Can we take away 9 from 1? No, I don't think so. So we're going to have to borrow from our hundreds place. So we're going to borrow 10 and that will give us 3. And then we're going to add that 10 to our tens place and that will give us 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. Can we take away 7 from 3? No, we can't do that. So we're going to have to borrow from the thousands place. We're going to borrow 10, which will give us 2. And then we're going to add that 10 to our hundreds place, which will give us 13. 13 minus 7 is 6. 2 minus 1. Can we take away 1 from 2? We can. Um, and 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So our total amount is 1,621. Coriana has memorized 1,621 more math facts than Taraya. Moving on to question 2. This summer, Miss Johnson plans to fly 3,405 miles to London. While she's there, she plans to take a short trip to Paris, traveling 1,198 miles. By the end of the summer, Ms. Johnson has traveled a total of 10,000 miles. How many more miles does she travel after Paris and London? So, we know that Ms. Johnson lives in Nashville, so I just wrote from Nashville to London, she traveled 3,405 miles. I know that she went from London to Paris, and that equals 1,198 miles. So the first thing I need to do is add those two miles together. All right, so we know that Ms. Johnson traveled 3,405 miles from Nashville to London. We also know that she traveled 1,198 miles from London to Paris. So we're gonna add those together to see how many total miles um, that we know she traveled. Five plus eight is 13. Nine plus one is 10. 
uh, four plus one and one is six, and three plus one is four. So she traveled a total of 4,603 miles that we know about. So Ms. Johnson also traveled 10,000 miles altogether. All right, so we know that she traveled a total of 10,000 miles altogether, and then we added the miles that she did, that we did know that she traveled, which was a total of 4,603. So we're gonna subtract 10,000 from 4,603 to see how many extra miles she did travel to complete her trip of 10,000 miles. So in order to subtract, we can't take um, three from zero, can we? No, we can't. So we're gonna have to borrow. Um, doesn't look like we can borrow from the tens place or the hundreds place or the thousands place, but there is something we can borrow in the 10,000s place. So we're gonna take away 10, which will give us zero. And then since we're gonna borrow from all of these place values, then the ones place, we can put a 10 because we borrowed from each one of these place values. Now, 10 minus three is seven. Nine minus zero is nine. Nine minus six is three. Nine minus four is five. Ms. Johnson traveled 5,397 additional miles.